Unicycling is a wonderful activity. It requires a great deal of balance, but uh, we find that just about anyone can learn how to do it. Unicycles are simple. They have one wheel. There's no gyroscopic uh, stability. It's all controlling the wheel. You, you ride upon it. Today, we're here with the uh, Milwaukee School of Engineering Unicycling Club. This is a Learn to Unicycle event, which the students organize to teach people in the community how to ride unicycles. Perfect. And before we go, first straighten up. We give them a few tips. Straighten way up. Um, people uh, get a unicycle and they slowly work their way around the whole loop a few times. After about the fifth or sixth time, people usually start venturing out into the center. Uh, we've had people learn to unicycle in as short as 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes it takes several days, but it's something that uh, so far, if, if people stay with it, we've had people from five-year-olds to 73-year-olds uh, learn to unicycle here. After that, people come out. Uh, many of them get their own unicycles. They learn different tricks and techniques, and uh, we have some people who are quite accomplished here, both from the Milwaukee School of Engineering, the students and alumni and the community. I've been riding for about 10 years now. Um, and I can do a good handful of tricks. Pretty much anything you can think of in like an extreme sport fashion, you can pretty much do on a unicycle. I thought it would be something cool to try and maybe a skill to add to my resume. It's, it's a fun way to spend time. <laughs> Difficult, <laughs> very sore, and I'm very scared. And yeah, <laughs> it's a good leg workout. When you're first starting to learn, it feels like you're constantly falling. How I explain it to people is you want to fall forward and then pedal, pedal fast enough that you don't hit the ground. Unicycles are surprisingly safe. Most people just step off of them. Helmets are always a good idea. We encourage people to bring their own if they have them. It's been said that you have to fall a thousand times before you become a great uh, unicyclist, so uh, you get used to that. The trick is when you do fall, you try not to put your wrist out or your hand out or your elbow out. You just try to roll. And uh, once you get good at it, um, there's really no issue. It's a, it's a surprisingly safe activity. Uh, much more safe, uh, I would say, than bicycling because the speeds are generally lower. It's very intuitive. You, you know how you have to think to ride a bicycle. You have to steer and go where you want to go. This, you just, you just let your mind do the work and you, you think about whatever you want to think about. You think about your dinner plans as you ride and you can just go. There's, just, there's no thought behind it. It's really, it's really a, kind of a relaxing activity. You need to keep yourself upright by keeping the wheel underneath you. And uh, it's a great dynamics problem, the, uh, but once you learn to do it, it's all instinctive. There's, there's really no thought that goes into it. Uh, we tell people, especially a lot of the engineering students, that they need to uh, stop thinking so hard and uh, just try to stay on top of it. And uh, all of a sudden it'll click and they're able to unicycle. There you go, there you go, you got it, you got it. The unicycles come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Uh, this is a 20 inch, this is what people usually learn on. This is a trials model, which is a little, uh, heavy, it's heavier duty, made to jump off large, uh, uh, some people take six foot drops on these, that sort of thing. This is a 36er. This is uh, seen as a, a long range unicycle. People can do uh, uh, commute to work on them occasionally, and you also see people uh, uh, occasionally do a century or a 100 mile unicycle ride. And the bigger the unicycle wheel, the better gearing you have. Where on a bicycle, you shift into a higher gear or sprocket, which allows you to, uh, to go further with each uh, pedal. On a unicycle, it's direct drive, so you actually need a bigger wheel to do the same thing. The type of tire, the, uh, the size, the uh, width, all of those are, are very important when you only have one. Bicycling actually, in some ways, is more difficult. Um, you can only turn in one axis, and uh, you can only go forward. With a unicycle, you can go uh, uh, forward, backwards, uh, you can hop sideways. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of different things you can do. I'll spin the unicycle 90 degrees and land on the tire. It's a different skill set entirely, but uh, once someone learns to unicycle, it's there for life. The college students here are all uh, very dedicated and very focused on their futures, uh, but they like to have fun too. And uh, the Unicycling Club has uh, been around for uh, over 10 years now. It has students from all over the campus, and uh, it's just a great activity where, where the students let loose and uh, really enjoy uh, the outdoors and uh, being, with, being together. Once someone learns how to unicycle, they can pretty much do it the rest of their lives. It also helps people with balance and a number of other uh, issues in their lives. It's a great, wholesome activity in a, in a time where uh, more and more uh, children and adults are spending time on computer screens. It's, a, it's nice, it's outdoors, it's uh, fun to do, and uh, just a great social activity.